today is day three of the ninth annual Unity Cup here in this time we're in Bristol, Virginia and we're at Bristol Manor Golf Club. This is day three of the Unity Cup. Bristol Manor is home to one of these southern antebellum estates and it has been turned into a golf course. All right, now, once again, this is day three. This is the final day of the Unity Cup Challenge. Uh, at the end of the day, there a champion will be crowned, and we will have our award ceremony at the American Steakhouse in Dumfries, Virginia. Here is a preview of some of the hardware that will be given out uh, at the award ceremony. Um, these are really nice um, trophies for the champions and we look forward to see who gets them. This is what we do, man. Yeah, well, you don't want to take nobody but me. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Sitting right here. No, now, Eagle Hunter. They third place. That's what you get. Third place trophy went to the Eagle Hunters. Larry Grant, Will Drawn, Jeff Adams, and Cedric Franklin. Uh, the second place trophy went to the Urban Assault Squad, which included uh, myself, Kirk Miller, Mr. Sam Adams, I'm Chris Hartnick, and James Jones. The Urban Assault Squad, second place. And now, drum roll please, the winner of the 2022 Ninth Annual Unity Cup Challenge was the Battle of the Fairways, including Mr. Al Boone, Mr. Greg Whaley, Mr. Dave Tate, and Mr. Clifford Surratt. Um, other awards included the longest drive for the regular men's group, uh, which was taken by Mr. Daryl Var. Daryl Var, longest drive.
And the longest drive for the senior men's group was Mr. Curtis Jones. Congratulations, Curtis. I just want to say how tremendously proud I am of this group of men uh, and how I am so blessed to be a part of the group. Um, I want to thank you guys for all you do. Thank you. And of course, don't forget to hit the thumbs up to like this video, share it with your friends, uh, make comments and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks.